What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free Major League Baseball home run prop show for Thursday, May 18th, 2023. And we will get into the home run prop action. It was a great day yesterday, another great day. We had some nice winners. And I'm trying to get this out as early as possible for you with some early action in MLB on Thursday. Got four afternoon games out of the six on the board. So we're going to get this out as quickly as possible. Um, but just a reminder, these are plays that are supposed to be very high risk, high reward. Not plays that you dump your, your whole bankroll into just to have a sprinkle of uh, some pizza or some coffee money on uh, just for some side action. And you know, when we have days like we've had in the last couple of days where you hit multiple, normally you can cover off all your bets and then get some profit on it afterwards. But uh, if you are looking for the games that I am the most confident in, the games that I do love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, check out PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page and we'll make sure that you get sorted out. But uh, let's get into the home run prop action for Thursday. We'll do a quick recap of what we did hit on uh, on Wednesday. I said it was a great day. We had uh, three home run winners. We started things off with Christian Walker going yard for us again. He went at plus 550. And we also had uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. belt one for plus 440. And uh, Adelise Garcia said, you know, why do you guys need one? I'll get you two at plus 500. You know, some, some nice profit pretty much covered off all the bets that we made and then some. And if you parlayed a couple of those guys, congratulations. That was a great payday. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're going to do it again here. A six-game card maybe doesn't leave a whole lot of uh, meat on the bone for some. But I was able to find quite a few home run props I do like. And these are you don't have to bet every single one of these home run prop plays. These are just the ones that I like and the ones that I'm probably going to have a couple of bucks on. But do you agree with some of the angles I take? Do you not agree? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you have any player props of your own. Um, you know, sometimes I even pick myself, pick and choose props from the player prop, uh, excuse me, from the, uh, the, the comment section of these YouTube videos for these home run props. Um, because some of you guys put out absolute fire home run props. But I implore everyone, please, if you're going to drop your plays in the comment section below, do so before the game's actually starting. You know, it's a little bit tough with the early action on Thursday. Um, but we're trying to beat the books as a team, and if the book and if those plays aren't in there before the games start, well, they don't really help anybody. And none of this thank me later stuff. It's not a picking contest, not a competition. Like I said, one team, one goal. We're trying to crush the books as a unit. But uh, let's get into the home run prop action for uh, for Thursday, and we're gonna get it started right off the top, fairly early. We're gonna go to this uh, this 12:35 p.m. Eastern matchup between the Orioles and the Angels. I'm going to go with Ryan Mountcastle, the hill home run here at plus 540. He's hitting 333 with five home runs against left-handed pitching this season. And uh, Tyler Anderson, he's allowing a 7.9% barrel rate. His last three home runs allowed have all come on the road. So um, I'm going to roll with Ryan Mountcastle here at plus 540. Also going to look at, uh, at Shohei Otani on the other side at plus 410. Keep getting decent prices with Otani. He's hitting 353. With a home run against right-handed pitching in the last week, Tyler Wells for Baltimore has been solid, but he's allowing a 10.4% barrel rate this season, and Otani still has a 13.8% barrel rate this season. So I'm going to roll with Shohei Otani at plus 410. Now I was going to this matchup between the uh, the Rays and the Mets, and a couple and uh, a couple of the Rays that I do like today, but unfortunately that with with uh, how early we're putting this video out, couldn't find any prices on uh, were uh, Jose Siri. And uh, Josh Lowe, Siri, a twenty point, excuse me, a twenty percent barrel rate in a small sample size this season has three home runs in uh, in May against right-handed pitching. I'm not a fan of Tyler McGill. Um, I think this Rays lineup still handling righties well can do some damage here. I think Siri's going to be a great value once we can get a price on him. Same thing with Josh Lowe has a fourteen percent barrel rate and three home runs in, in May against right-handed pitching. So that's why I like Josh Lowe. But one person I was able to get a price on on the, in the uh, excuse me in the other dugout was uh, Pete Alonso, and I'm going to take him here at plus 430. A team-best 16% barrel rate this season. Taj Bradley's making his first start back in Tampa's rotation in nearly a month. Last time we saw Bradley, you know, he did get the win, but he also gave up two home runs in that game. So I'm going to take a shot here with Pete Alonso. Also going to look at uh, uh, Jorge Soler uh, in this matchup against the Nationals to hit one at plus 320. Uh, Trevor Williams giving up a 14.3% barrel rate. Um... Uh, Solaire has three home runs against right-handed pitching in May. A team-best 19% barrel rate this season. Gotta love me some Jorge Soler here at uh, at plus 320. 
And I'm also going to go with uh, another familiar face on these home run prop shows. I'm going to go with Luis Ro uh, Robert to hit one here. And plus 390, you're going back to Old Faithful. The White Sox, they haven't seen a ton of action against lefties lately. But Robert, you know, he's been hot in terms of hitting dingers. He's hitting 375 with three home runs against left-handed pitching this season. Logan Allen, starting for the Indians. Indians, oh boy, I, I almost went over like a lead balloon. Starting for the Guardians today. Uh, he started to regress for the Guardians. You know, he's a... Uh, 12.7% barrel rate allowed this season, while Robert's a 15% barrel rate at the plate. So give me uh, Luis Robert here at plus 390. Now, obviously, you know, the, the purpose of these, uh, excuse me, these home run prop shows are to highlight some winners for you guys, but also highlight what the betting tools at Sports Chat Plays and PickDogs.com can do for you. They're going to show you how often these uh, these player props hit. They're going to help you find the best possible price for them, and uh, they're going to show you which book uh, offers that best possible price. If you don't have account with them, you sign up, you get a sports book bonus on us. You can play that best possible price. And the most important thing, it gives you another book to use, which is key in keeping your main advantage over the books, which is being able to shop lines and find the best possible number for yourself. It's the one thing they can't take away from you. There's also other tools on there, you know, streaks. There's parlay builders. They show you profitable players and teams and angles. So I could do a, a whole, uh, excuse me, a whole show probably for an hour just talking about how great these betting tools that Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Plates are. But I think it's the most effective if you guys go over and check them out yourself and play around with them. So definitely make sure that's something that you guys go and uh, go and check out. But uh, the other thing I wanted to mention for this uh, this White Sox and uh, White Sox and uh, and uh, Guardians video is I do like Jake Berger to hit a home run as well. You know I love me a good burger. Jake's been ripping it up as of late. Um, hit, hitting three home runs uh, with three homers, excuse me, 300 with three homers against left-handed pitching this season. Um, also, is a massive 25% barrel rate in a, a limited sample size, but I couldn't find a price on him. And again, just with how early some of these games are going off, couldn't afford to, to, to wait much longer for him. So I'm going to roll with uh, Jake Berger once I get a price on him. Uh, now we're going to move to this matchup between the Blue Jays and the Yankees. We've seen plenty of offense for the most part. Didn't see much on, uh, on Wednesday, but... We're going to go back to it here, and I'm going to take a shot with Aaron Judge once again. I think it's our lowest uh, plus money prop on the day, but I'm not going to sneeze at plus 295 with Aaron Judge. Doesn't stay down for very long. He's hitting 273 with four home runs against right-handed pitching in May, and in his career against Jose Barrios, Judge hitting 316 with a home run and still has a massive 27.4% barrel rate this season. So I'm going to take Aaron Judge here at plus 295. And another great value on the board. I'm going to roll with Anthony Rizzo here at plus 600. He has three home runs and a three, excuse me, a 275 batting average against right-handed pitching in May. Also has a decent 9.7% barrel rate this year. And uh, in his career against Jose Barrios, uh, Rizzo hitting 409 with a pair of home runs. So I'm going to roll with Anthony Rizzo at plus 600. Uh, we're going to switch dugouts here. I'm going to go with a couple of uh, Blue Jays in this game. First one I'm going to go with is Matt Chapman. You know, he's still tearing the cover off the ball. He's, he's a plus 350 here. Nestor Cortez has been far, far less effective on the road this season. He's given up five home runs in his last four starts. Four of those five dingers have come in two road starts. And uh, Chapman still leads the Rays in, excuse me, still leads the Jays in barrel rate at 25.2%. In his career against Nestor Cortez, uh, Chapman, 3 for 11 with all three hits going for extra bases, including a pair of home runs. So I'm going to take Matt Chapman here at plus 350. And I'm also going to go value hunting here, something we always get great value with. That's Bo Bichette at plus 575. Um, he has a career home run against Nestor Cortez. This is strictly a play based on the value in this matchup. So I'm going to roll with Bo Bichette at plus 575. Now, before we get into our last game, I want to make sure that I, re I reiterate this for other people who may be new to our home run prop video. And a term you're going to hear me use a lot is barrel rate. And if you're not familiar with, with, uh, with what barrel rate is, a barrel is basically an all-in-one metric combining all the key pieces in terms of, you know, what is going to be a, a hard hit ball into the outfield and potentially a home run. You know, things like launch angle, exit velocity, obviously where the, the ball's coming off the bat and how hard it's being hit. And switch when you... When you hit that perfect sweet spot, it's classified as a barrel. And why is barrel rate important? Because 45% of balls that were classified as barrels in 2022 went for home runs. And that was the lowest percentage of barrels to home runs we had seen in a decade. And we're normally talking about 50 to 60% of barrels um, going for home runs in a season. And that's, you know, like I said, over basically over the past 10 years. And when you're going to give me a 50 to 60% likelihood or probability edge, 
on a plus money prop that's going to hit at maybe plus 350, anywhere from anywhere from really from plus 250 and up, I will take that any day of the week. And, uh, you know, it goes for both ways, not just for, for hitters, but for starting pitching as well, and even bullpens, you know, um, you know, for, for hitters, how many barrels they're slugging at the plate based on how many balls they're putting in play. And for pitchers, you know, how many barrels they're giving up based on how many balls they're giving up being put in play. So definitely I feel that barrel rate is an important metric and it's obviously going to be something that you hear me mention a lot during these home run prop videos. But we'll get into the uh, the last uh, last game for um, for Thursday's action. And uh, we've only got a couple more home run props to look at. It's this match between the Dodgers and the Cardinals. And, well, again, I'm going to go with a familiar face here. I'm going to go with Nolan Arenado to get back on track and hit a home run. At plus 330, the streak ended on Wednesday. He hit it in five straight. Couldn't get six. But I'm going back to the well here. And I like Julio Urias, but he's allowed 10 home runs this season and at least one home run in six of his last seven starts. I figure there's going to be value here with Arenado at plus 330. You know, I want to see it get back up there into that plus 400, plus 500 range. But the fact that it's still sitting around plus 330 kind of tells me that maybe the books are trying to protect themselves here with Arenado. So give me Nolan Arenado at plus 330. Also give me Paul Goldschmidt at plus 410. I'm just sticking with another reliable option for the cards. He still has a 14.6% barrel rate this season. I think Goldschmidt can definitely take Urias yard here. So give me Paul Goldschmidt at plus 410. And the last one we're going to look at, Max Muncy at plus 450. Leads the cards with a 21.2% barrel rate. I'm just not loving how Adam Wainwright has looked in his first two starts. He's given up four runs in each and has given up five, uh, excuse me, given up those four runs in, in five innings in each of the first two starts. The question here is, does Max Muncy play? He's listed as questionable on a couple of injury reports that I've seen, but I'm thinking he's going to play. So worst case scenario, this bet gets voided if he doesn't play, but I think Max Muncy goes. I think he could potentially hit one off of Wayne right here at plus 450 to close things out for us. But we'll do a quick recap of the home run props that we did have for Thursday's action. Yeah, we did pretty well finding some meat on the bone for just a six-game card, but we started things off with the Orioles and Ryan Mountcastle at plus 540. Switch dugouts went with the Angels, Shohei Otani at plus 410. Went with Pete Alonso to hit a home run at plus 430. Again, honorable mention to find if you can find it. Jose Siri and Josh Lowe for the Rays in that matchup. Also like uh, Jorge Soler to hit a home run for the Marlins at plus 320. Uh, Going to roll with Luis Robert to hit a home run at plus 390. Again, also like Jake Berger for the White Sox in that matchup. You can find a price on him. Going to go with uh, Aaron Judge to hit a home run at plus 295. For the Yankees, I'm also going to go for the Yankees with Anthony Rizzo at plus 600. I'm going to go with uh, for the Blue Jays, Matt Chapman at plus 350. And also for the Blue Jays, Bo Bichette at plus 575. For the Cardinals, I'm going to roll with uh, Nolan Arenado at uh, plus 330. Also for the Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt at plus 410. And to close things out for the Dodgers, going to go with Max Muncy at plus 450. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you for, for tuning in and, and you know helping support this channel. Near 130,000 subscribers. Couldn't be able to do it without your love and support. And also make sure you drop a thumbs up on this channel if you really like this content. Helps us you know, know that you guys like what we're doing. And uh, you know, make sure you have notifications turned on in our Pick Dogs YouTube, especially for days like today where we have afternoon baseball. Sometimes don't have a ton of time between when the video drops and when the first pitch of the first game happens. So if you have these notifications turned on, you can be in the know. You can get the notification when the newest content comes out and be the first to get the bets in and make sure that you get these bets in you know, as early as possible. Also, if you're still looking for my best bets, again, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs, I implore everybody, please, Check out these betting tools. They are 100% free. They will do the heavy lifting for you. They are a tool that you want to have on your back pocket and keep in your best, uh, excuse me, on your tool belt when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And you're not going to find betting tools like this anywhere for free. And we're giving them to you at Pick Dogs and at Sports Chat Place. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.